Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. It's been a minute, maybe like three days, maybe two days, three days, I don't know. I was just observing there was a groundhog hanging out over here by the shed right there. So I believe that the groundhogs have booted the skunks out and uh, now we have the skunks living somewhere else hopefully or you know if they're not even alive anymore that's okay to me too I, I'm not too picky but I had um, we had tragedy strike the kitchen this morning the refrigerator decided that it didn't want to participate anymore so um, hopefully we can get it easily repaired um, we're letting it defrost right now but as I was cleaning it out <laughs> thankfully it's you know close to time to go to the grocery store I noticed this that was had rolled back into the crisper drawer and I didn't know it was back there so guess who gets a whole head of lettuce chickens because this thing is half rotted and really gross but I'm sure that the chickens will absolutely love it look at them here they come it's like an army of chickens aren't they funny they kill me they're so funny so progress is going well out at the homestead. Um, I was able to to dig through and get quite a few things. Um, I'm starting to get things cleaned out. Um, hopefully soon there will be some movement and we'll be able to get some serious starting, some serious stuff started, some serious starting started. Yeah. Oh my goodness, this is gross, girls. I don't even know if you're going to want this. It's really gross. Ew. <laughs> oh, it might come out. There we go. Alright, let's see what happens. They might eat it. I don't know. Yeah, if you don't, I don't blame you, chickens. I wouldn't eat it either. I'll taste test, and... See, I was thinking about cutting it in half, but again, it's really, really gross. Uh-oh. Someone's getting feisty. Mr. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. No coming out today. Thank you. All right. All right. All right. We got some, we got some action going on. So, yeah, we're, we're thinking that it's the evaporator fan that is uh, faulty in the refrigerator. Um, we had issue with it probably about two years ago. There was, um, the ice tray was getting too full, like in the ice maker, and it was causing the ice maker to freeze, and when that happened, it caused water to drip down. Gracious, it caused water to drip down into where the evaporator fan is. And so it, the fan was um, hitting the ice that was forming there. And so we had to defrost the freezer and let that ice melt and uh, do that whole bit. And so this morning I, came, I come in and there's an error code on it. And it, uh, the error code, oh, I looked it up, it said it was the evaporator fan error code. So we have pulled everything out of the refrigerator and freezer and we are um, letting it defrost and then we're going to plug it back in and see what happens should be interesting so one of these days I'm going to get a, a thing of cherry tomatoes like a container of cherry tomatoes and I'm going to bring it down and throw it in here and and get footage of the chickens and cherry tomatoes because it's absolutely hilarious. I um, I bought a container of cherry tomatoes because I absolutely love them. I will eat them like M&Ms. They're delicious. But anyway, these were not delicious. These were very tasteless and obviously like hothouse grown or something because they were just gross. So I ate like maybe two of them and I was like, ew, I'm not going to eat any more of these. And they sat on my counter for a while and I was like, all right, I'm going to feed these to the chickens. So, you know, I felt bad. It was only like $2 or something. They were Kroger brand grape tomatoes, uh, cherry tomatoes. <clears throat> I feel bad wasting that much food, but, you know, whatever. So I, I brought it down and I dumped it out and I didn't have my phone with me. 
but it was absolutely hilarious. They were they were grabbing the little tomatoes and running around with them in their beaks while they were still whole. So it almost looked like they had little clown noses on the ends of their beaks. It was it was pretty entertaining, and um, so I'm I'm going to do that here sometime soon. I thought about taking the favorels out to the homestead since I'm going out there every day. I can uh, keep an eye on them. Plus my uh, one of the one of the people that lives out there, they're wanting to uh, do a 4-H project, but the, their parent doesn't want them to have an animal. So, um, I I thought about letting her borrow my chickens so that she could do a a 4-H project on them. So, the Favrils would be good for that. I think they're good girls. They're good, good girls. Well, good. I'm glad this lettuce thing worked out. I knew there was plenty of good stuff in there somewhere. I don't think it's been in there that long. I would need it. No way. Well, okay. Let's say today, me, right now, I would not eat it. Get, get, get me without food, maybe like a week. <laughs> I'd probably consider it very, very heavily. So, yeah. So, hopefully the refrigerator is good. I've uh, I've not been videoing because um, I've just been so busy. My uh, my daddy took took a turn for the worse. He was really see doctors just really make me scratch my head sometimes. So he needed to have the uh, the dreaded colonoscopy, right? He needed to have that and an endo end, endoscopy endoscopy or whatever to go down his throat. So they were coming at him on both ends from both ends, right? <clears throat> and um, to do that, he needed to, to do a liquid diet day and fast, you know, no, no solid foods, and do the prep. Well, the man's already borderline dehydrated, and he's very weak from where he has no appetite. He's having a lot of issues with nausea and uh, loss of appetite, so he's lost a lot of weight and a lot of body mass and a lot of uh, muscle mass rather than body mass, both. <laughs> and uh, so... They put him on this diet where he doesn't eat anything for a day, which absolutely destroyed him. He was so weak, he couldn't hardly move. Like, it was, uh, I was not there for this, but I heard that it was a very, very rough evening. Um, because he was very, um, wobbly, pass out, like, it, it was just a bad night. And so it took him about two days to kind of get, get his strength back. Um, because again, he's still nauseous, um, still has no appetite, nothing sounds good, he says, and, um, they can't figure out why. They can't figure out why he's losing weight, they can't figure out why he's nauseous all the time, they can't figure out why he has no appetite, um, they can't figure out why he, um, has blood pressure issues every time he lays down and stands up. They can't figure out why his heart rhythm isn't correct. <laughs> there's there's a lot of things they can't figure out. And they've done a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of tests on the man. They've done every single cancer screen I think you can, aside from a PET scan. Um, they've done so many, so many rounds of blood work. Um, no, nothing to indicate any kind of cancer. Um, they always say that it's, it's incredible that the testing that comes back, they're like, for your age, this is just, you know, passed with flying colors. So it's like every test, like this last thing, this colonoscopy they did, they found two polyps, cut them out. They said they're almost like 99.9% .9 sure that they're not anything to worry about. So there's that. So now we're back to square one yet again. And, you know, it's, he's 85. He's never had, he's never been sick. He was a postal worker for like almost 40 years and he never took a day off. When he, when he retired, he had a year and a year, more than a year of sick leave. I think it was like a year and a half of sick leave built up because it didn't, it accrued, it didn't expire. And so it, he had just, you, he had just stored up all these sick days. So his first year and a half of retirement was just sick days. So the man's never been sick. And here at 85, he something is up and we can't figure out what it is. The doctors can't figure out what it is. I have a giant suspicion that I know what it is. But of course, it's, the, it's that that shall not be spoken about or named or even breathed that it could cause any kind of issues because it is 100% safe and effective. Don't you even question it. Go get more right now. Run out there. Get them. I think they poisoned my father. I'm pretty confident that they poisoned my father. But, of course, no one wants to hear that. That's the last thing that anyone wants to hear because 
they either encouraged that or thought that it was okay or did it themselves or don't want to face facts to the fact that it's really doing some serious injury to people. And um, I think it's really going to, the, the, the effects are just now being seen, I think. I'm pretty sure that um, the, the, the ripple effect from what happened in this last two years, we're just, we're just, we're just riding the first wave, baby. It's going to be horrendous. And I'm, I'm just so disgusted with humanity <clears throat> in so many different ways. But I love chickens and I love you guys. And I thank you so much for watching, for listening to my ridiculous rants, for being patient. I so appreciate all of it. All 182. If you want to be 183, today's the day. It's, it's open. It's free. It's painless. It costs you nothing. You can ignore my videos. Just scroll right by. It's okay. It's all right. I'll, I'll, still, I'll still think of you as a good person. Even if you don't watch my videos, just subscribe. Maybe throw a like there every once in a while. But, uh, yeah. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. It looks like the chickens are really enjoying their lettuce. I'm glad. Maybe they'll leave me some eggs. Oh, let's go check real quick. Let's go check and see. I haven't checked yet today. Let's go check and see if they have eggs. I try to give them their privacy. I heard from upper management that there were some egg noises happening earlier. So maybe we got one. It's really gross in here, guys. I'm glad you don't have smell of vision. <gasps> Look. Da, 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 da. There's one. Any more? Nope, that's a faker. I put the fakers back in there because uh, I was, um, can't quite see back in there. I was tired of them not laying eggs and I thought maybe the problem was that the fakers weren't in there anymore, but apparently not. <clears throat> All right. Again, better disappoint. Back, Jack. All right, guys. Again, thank you. I appreciate it. Have a good day. Bye-bye.